to the farmer's market. Um, this is probably the first prep that I've ever made pretty much 90% of my food. Normally I would eat out a lot. Um, and so it's really nice because then I can buy all this beautiful produce and it's quite rewarding cooking your own meals even though I feel like I'm forever cleaning up. <laughs> um, I bought so much lettuce that I need to literally eat in the next couple of days before it wilts too much. Um, but yeah, I've just been keeping my diet um, as, you know, with as many vegetables and wholesome unprocessed foods as I can um, just to get more bang for my buck when it comes to my macros because um, I like to um, count my macros um, so it gives me a little bit more flexibility in the variety of foods that I eat. Although when you're coming, you know, in the, in the back end of the comp, you kind of tend to stick to the same foods anyway, just because you know it works, it fits your targets, um, it's good quality food, and it just makes it that little bit easier. Um, even when I have a high day, I don't do cheat meals. I don't do cheat days. I calculate and weigh everything from bread to rice to vegetables to avocado, nuts, the chicken, beef, whatever it is that I'm eating. Um, because I don't want any room for error. Um, and I think that flexible dieting gets a really bad rap sometimes and actually creates bad habits because people can be too flexible um, and therefore they you know, eat out too much, then they're guesstimating, then there's margins for error, they're not really calculating what they're eating. Um, they're eating less wholesome, unprocessed foods. So I think that um, it is important while you still do macro tracking, if that's your thing, to um, have a rule of 80% wholesome, unprocessed foods. And then I call it like 20% fun. You know, a little bit of fun you know, on the side, that's not gonna undo all your hard work. And it makes it more of a, you know, more exciting because you're not always eating out and you're not always, um, you know, trying to balance out what you've gone over here or there. And I believe that your body remodels itself from the food you eat. Like you literally are what you eat. So I think it's really important to fill your body up with, you know, good quality food. Um, and then when it's deserved to have the fun. So um, this has probably been um, one of the most enjoyable um, comp preps I've done so far. Um, and I, you know, comp prep is a very emotional experience for some people. I always say that a comp prep's not a comp prep without a bit of a cry. And um, I thought I was doing really well and I was like, oh my God, I'm on top of this, I haven't cried once. Till the beginning of um, last week, I just got really emotional. Um, I It was on Monday and I really felt like I had just, I, I was just really tired. I was, I knew it was gonna be an emotional day because I literally cried at 5 a.m. in the morning when I was walking and my friend called me from overseas to tell me she got engaged. And I started crying and I just was like, oh, it's a bit, Worry, I'm crying when I'm really happy for someone. Um, and then that day I just felt really agitated and I couldn't quite change my state or work out what it was and I just realized I was just tired. Um, and I needed a, a, a break, an extra rest day, um, which is you know really important to listen to your body throughout this competition prep, if you ever do one, they're amazing and there's so many highs, but there's also, there shouldn't be as many lows as there is highs, but there's gonna be some lows in there and I think it's really important to just understand that that's okay. You don't feel guilty about that day. You just understand, you know, I knew Monday night, you know what, tomorrow's gonna be a better day and it has been. It's been such a, like an amazing week um, for myself and uh, for my sports model girls and I just needed to kind of mentally reset and um, yeah, so I haven't cried since then. So I've just cried once this prep, which is good.
but there's a few more weeks to go, so we'll see how we go. So, uh, how am I feeling about my progress? Um, well, it's at that point now where week to week, the, the changes are so small, so minimal. And um, for where I'm at right now, I'm aiming to get, you know, at least a 200 gram loss on the scale a week. Um, if I do that for the next um, six, seven weeks, that's over a kilo of fat loss done. Um, hopefully without losing any muscle. Like where I'm at now, I cannot lose any more muscle. Um, I'm coming in smaller than last year. Um, so, you know, I, I need to make sure I, I keep my fullness, which is very much a manipulation of carbohydrates and my nutrition, um, not doing too much exercise, which is easy to get carried away with. Um, so for myself, when I look at my check-in photos, I sometimes think, is anything changing? Even though there'll be that little change. Um, this week I got a 200 gram change and I was like, oh, that was the bare minimum I needed. I would have liked for a little bit more, to be honest. Um, and my waist measurements are just, um, cause I do mine in inches. They're just millimeters, you know, two millimeters, two millimeters. So this slowly inching um, along and I'm really hoping to get, um, you know, close to 24 inch waist if I if that's ever possible I've never done that before um, but I'm willing to give it a go and um, yeah so where I'm at mentally and physically I'm excited I just have to do the best that I can do every single day and in terms of my physique uh, my proportions oh I am so far ahead of where I was last year so I'm already winning and then mentally as I said I've, I've never been this positive and f I mean I've always been focused but mentally I'm relaxed but I'm I'm relaxed but I'm focused and I'm disciplined it's weird I don't feel like I don't feel the pressure even though there's pressure um, and uh, yeah I'm just excited it's coming up so quickly and I'm just taking every single day as it comes and not wishing a day away I just want the full day to do the best that I can every day and um, yeah, so when I see people and they haven't seen me for a while, they can see the difference, which is nice. But for me, because I look at myself every single day, the changes are very small, but I'm happy. Posing practice is um, so important uh, in your preparation for the show because you might have an amazing physique but if you don't know how to showcase it on stage or even work to your best angles then it's like it's between one, two, three, four, five, top five, you know, and um, also just learning to have the confidence on stage is really important. Um, my parents tell me I've been posing my whole life. <laughs> Um, and uh, it's probably true um, but it's funny I get so nervous on stage like I've done so many shows and I do so much visualization and actually this is the first show um, that I've done um, that I've really really put a lot of effort into um, improving my posing and my stage presence because when I looked at photos from last year I just and videos I thought oh my god I can do better than that like what is that come on and um, just like squatting just like anything else you must put the time in to improve um, where your weak links are and for me I felt like that might have been a bit of posing so um, I've been doing it every Sunday before my hit session um, for about an hour and uh, I'm really really happy with my progress so far <laughs> for
I just finished my uh, morning cardio um, and now I'm off to the gym um, and I'll be doing a glute shoulder and a bit of abs today um, today's my probably my favorite day to train um, I particularly like training glutes um, and only now have I recently um, kind of seen the development of my shoulders so I actually now I really enjoy training shoulders and I never used to so much um, but I often get anxiety before I train because I know I'm gonna train really hard and it it scares me because I think oh my god what pain am I gonna put myself through today because I often think I cannot physically train any harder than what I am but then you just do it's like something something comes over me when I start training and it's like it's just a competition with myself and you know particularly on days where um, you know I do hit training um, or I know I've got a really heavy leg session I often say to myself um, do you want to play a game and in my head I'm like yeah I want to play a game what's the game and the game will be show me how hard you can work it's like okay so often when I'm training and I'm struggling and I'm hitting that point where it's like oh my god and it's like this is where this is where the magic happens I always say to myself um, can you work any harder than this can you work any harder than this and if the answer is yes it's like well you better start working or and it should be no it should be no I cannot work any hard on this it's like well, keep working keep pushing and because it's a game within myself there's so much it, it's just all on it's all on me it's like it's you're just competing with yourself it's just pushing yourself to the extra limit and showing yourself yes you can work harder yes you can do this um, because yeah just when you think you can't you can and so, um, I mean, I love training. I love it more than ever. I almost, I push for the burn to come early and then I push past the burn till I cannot push anymore because that's where the magic happens. It's the best feeling in the world. So, uh, what I'll do with today's session is I'll write it out for you guys um, to give it a go uh, and I encourage you to use the appropriate weights for your strength like really give it a go you know if you if you walk away from that session going I could do a second session or I could do a, another set you didn't use the correct weights so I encourage you to get uncomfortable Get that burn happening and walk away going, I couldn't have worked any harder because then you just played the game. exhausted now um, but it was an awesome session and I cannot wait for you guys to give it a go um, so I guess we're at the point of the prep now where it's five weeks out I I think I'm excited more than anything else um, it's this last week that I've really seen my physique change and it's funny because when I look at my progress photos and my prog 
progress pictures and even my measurements like I'm hustling for a millimeter I'm hustling for a couple of hundred grams at this point you know and I think because I look at myself every day it's it's harder to see the changes but for others when I see them it's you know um, someone told me that my back looked like an anatomy chart the other week so I was very happy with that um, but I feel really good and mentally I'm in the best place I've ever been in and that's because you know like I mentioned in you know week eight I've got my I do my rituals I do my meditation I don't I haven't given that up because that to me is for my soul it's you know everyone concentrates on their physique but it's your mindset that's going to make or break you so and I knew that for my, myself um, and I enjoy doing I enjoy having a strong mindset or, or a emotionally fit mindset um, where I can believe in myself and nurture myself and um, just stay focused I guess I mean of course there are highs and lows like I had the other week um, but then there's not as many as there are highs so that's good <laughs> but uh, my strength is still going up in the gym um, I'm getting fitter every week you know as I said you, when you think you can't work any harder and you do it's because you're just so focused and you're, you're so close so um, this is probably my favorite part five weeks out because this is where things really start to uh, change so I'm excited so make sure you guys get involved with the $100 muscle nation giveaway all the information you need is in the description below also if you have any questions for me any comments please make sure you leave them under the video I will read them I will get back to you um, and thank you so much for tuning in I can't wait to see you guys next week Ciao.